Hey guys, how's it going? It's 8-Bit Eric. We got a gaming pickups video for you guys. Got a few gaming items, some accessories, some games. Just wanted to share them with you. I guess this is a next-gen pickups number two. I did one a couple weeks ago and um, got me some stuff. I'm really excited to share with you guys. First things first, let's get some of these accessories out of the way. These are all from PDP. They sent them to the channel, so special thanks to PDP Gaming. I will be unboxing and reviewing each and every single one of these in a separate video. But let's go ahead and check it out. So the first thing I needed was I was tired of switching out batteries on my Series X controller. I have some rechargeable ones on my Xbox One controllers, but... It's the next generation, baby. We need to use our Series X. So what we did is uh, we got the Dual Art Ultra Slim Charge Station. So you can put two controllers on it. It's Ultra Slim. You just kind of lay it on your surface and you're able to recharge. It says it includes two rechargeable battery packs as well. So one thing I noticed is the rechargeable battery packs I have on my Xbox One controllers will not fit in the Series X controller because the the end is shaped differently, believe it or not. So definitely had to come out and get this one. And this one claims that it works with the Series X, which is why I wanted to pick it up and try it out. So we will be checking this full-fledged baby out. Rechargeable system. And then I got myself a level 50 wireless studio gaming headset from PDP. I've also had previous PDP headsets. I have one somewhere over here for the Xbox One, but now I wanted to try this brand new one that came out. It looks very similar to the one that I have, but you can never have too many headsets, right? It says enjoy spatial sound for Xbox Series X, Xbox One, and Windows 10. So this was designed with the Series X in mind and has that labeled on the box. So headsets are good. Headsets, headsets, headsets. Um, now, I got a couple controllers, actually. These are wired controllers. I got the Midnight Blue for the Xbox. I'm looking forward to checking it out. Um, looks really cool. They also have like a Crimson Red that I didn't pick up. I might get that for a later review. But blue. And it's interesting to see the box size. Like, you wouldn't think a controller was in this box, but it is. <laughs> and then I got the Afterglow controller, which actually lights up. And uh, looks pretty cool. So I wanted to go ahead and try these out. They got three different Afterglow colors. I did the blue. Or I think you can... No, actually, you could change the colors to those three with this one. So Afterglow controller. And now we got the, the games. The games. The games. The games. We're going to save the best one for last. But I got Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate. Uh, Best Buy actually had like a buy two, get one free sale. Uh, just the other day, so I took advantage of it to get some next-gen games, and I was like, all right Let's get Mortal Kombat 11 ultimate and uh, this basically has All the stuff on it all 37 fighters Two different stories. So it has the aftermath It has all the features all the modes basically all the DLC that you could ever want I played the crap out of Mortal Kombat 11 on the switch and People were telling me, yo, Eric, if you thought Mortal Kombat 11 on the Switch was amazing, you're going to be, like, jaw-dropped, astonished when you play on, on a next-gen system. And I popped this sucker in for a little bit, and I could tell the graphical difference is immense. It's, it's amazing compared to what I was playing last gen. And just, you know, I just got to get used to the, uh, to the gameplay again. One thing that got me disappointed, though, is there's no, like save data in the clouds like it would have been nice if mortal kombat had an account like if you had a mortal kombat account that kept track of your progress um your level how much currency you have in the game and your crypt progress because on mortal kombat 11 on the switch i had the crypt um the head puzzle like where you get all the heads i had that completed now i have to start over again on the crypt and i'm kind of like damn it son of a gun so yeah the crypt and all my stuff I have to start over from scratch, but I do plan on playing this um, on stream and, and covering it and reviewing it and stuff. Probably stream nights with Mortal Kombat will be a lot of fun. So we'll be checking this one out. I, I was a big fan of Mortal Kombat 11. Now, the next game we got is 
Devil May Cry 5 Special Edition. I never personally played Devil May Cry. Um, it was my first time actually just the other night playing it on live stream. I had to get used to this game. I was trying to figure out the combat. I was trying to figure out how stuff works on it. Um, the mechanics. I never played it. It's, it's five games in and this is my first one. It's just like how it was with GTA for me. I didn't play GTA until the fifth game. But it's pretty cool. It has uh, ray tracing, reduced load times, 3D audio. There's a lot of improvements on it. Um, it plays a lot like Bayonetta, I would guess. That's how I'd compare. But it also has a playable Virgil, deluxe content, turbo mode, and legendary Dark Knight mode. So there's a lot of additional extras and stuff on this. And I've heard so many good things about the Devil May Cry um, 5 game from several people that I finally popped it in. And so far, my impressions on it, and, and I'm going to be making a full video of this, but so far, my impressions on it are like, okay... It, it plays like Bayonetta. I, I don't see anything really groundbreaking with it. Some of these cutscenes look really good. The enemies look crazy, like the demonic looking things and stuff like that. Um, I don't know. It, I don't think it's like as, a, as much of a 10 of a 10 as people have said it, but it is pretty solid. Um, I'm still playing it. I'm going to probably be streaming it a handful more times, but it might be a while because of the next game that I picked up that is probably going to take precedence on the channel for quite some time. And you guys already know. Cyberpunk 2077. I picked it up. I got the Xbox One version, which includes eventually the Series X. You can see even it has a plays on Series X logo. I'm, uh, I'm going to be playing this for the foreseeable future at least. Um, it looks very fun, interesting. I like the sleeve that it came in. Um, but most importantly, uh, getting this at Best Buy got me a HBO Max trial for 14 days. I will be watching Wonder Woman 84 on it. Um, or, uh, you know what, I'm still probably going to go to the theater to watch Wonder Woman. But, I also got a steel book. Came with it. Came with the steel book. Uh, I'm, I'm completely going blind into Cyberpunk, by the way, so I have no idea who this guy is. I was hoping I would get Keanu Reeves as the steel book, but I didn't. I think there's three that you can get. They're completely randomized. And uh, you just open the inside, and it's like that. So, not a bad assortment of pickups, guys. I am already starting to get a lot of PS5 games and Series X compatible games and stuff. <laughs> and, and I'm like, holy crap. Like, I just went nuts. Um... GameStop had like a buy three, get two free sale on Xbox One games. So I looked at the, at the selections and picked whichever ones had next-gen upgrades. So I'll be having a pickup video on those eventually. Um, and holy crap, <laughs> am, I, am I going ham? See, when I go ham, I go ham. So definitely not a bad deal, guys. We got a lot of stuff um, and, and more to come. So I appreciate y'all watching as always. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Stay safe. Peace out.